Hello, I am Dr. Naveen Chandra. I am an interventional cardiologist. I am working currently in Columbia Asia Hospital, Whiteway. When you are treating heart failure, there are three important questions we have to answer. How do we treat the symptoms of the patient? Make them more comfortable. Two, what is the cause of heart failure? Three, how can we improve the functions of the heart? Probably even plan to achieve the normal heart functions. First one is symptom control. Now symptom control can be achieved by mostly medications and certain lifestyle medi modifications. Medications such as diuretics and other classes of medication helps in improving the patient's conditions. Also lifestyle modifications such as salt restriction and fluid restriction also are very very important for a symptom control. Second thing is to see why the heart failure has occurred in the first place. Although there are number of reasons to cause heart failure, more than 95% of the times the heart failure are usually because of coronary artery disease. In simple terms, blocks inside the heart vessels. A angiogram usually will be required in such patients to see if there is any blocks and an angioplasty or a bypass to relieve these blocks are very very important because these procedures can help in improving the functions of the heart. And the third and the most important thing is you have to explore medications and certain procedures where we can improve the functions of the heart overall. The number one is there are certain groups of medications are, are proved in literature to improve the functions of the heart. There are certain procedures which will help the patient to achieve the normal ejection fraction or normal cardiac functions also uh, such as a CRT or it is called as a cardiac resynchronization therapy which is a procedure similar to a pacemaker implantation can be done in certain subgroup of people, not all heart failure patients, but only in certain subgroup of patients, which will help in increasing the heart fun conditions of the heart, functions of the heart, symptoms as well as the long term outcomes of the patients. And also these heart failure patients are also very uh, high risk of developing sudden cardiac death. Sometimes an ICD or a uh, defibrillator may be required to prevent sudden cardiac death in such patients. Although there are a number of options of treatment are there which can be individualized to each patient. Of course, there are certain subgroup of patients where irreversible causes are there, symptoms are not controlled by any one of these means, of course, they will have to go for a cardiac transplantation.